I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. I think about Proverbs 22, 6 often in my parenting, but I also know of many adults who abandon their Christian roots and, quote, deconstruct. What's your advice for raising children who will stay true to the faith? Well, Proverbs 22, 6 is one of the most famous verses in the Bible and at times one of the most misapplied. It says that if we raise a child in the ways of the Lord, when he is old, he shall not depart from it. Now, let me remind each and every one of us that this book in the Bible, in the middle of the Bible, is called Proverbs, okay? It's not titled Guarantees. In other words, a proverb is a generally held belief to typically bear truth. Allow me to explain. The Bible says in Hebrews 9.27 that all men must die and face the judgment. However, there are some outliers. Enoch did not die a physical death. Elijah did not die a physical death. So there are exceptions to that general accepted rule that all men must die and face the judgment. When we talk about a, quote, proverb, it means that generally speaking, this truth holds true. Now, there are proverbs about our finances, about relationships, about a host of things. In almost any proverb, you can read it and say, well, I know somebody that that didn't happen. Well, exactly. There are outliers. So what does this verse mean? It basically establishes the fact that as a believer in Jesus Christ and a parent of a child, we are to raise them in the fear and admonition of the Lord. We're to raise them with the foundations and the grounding of the faith in Scripture. But allow me to give you the illustration that I give my own children. I tell them, your mother and I have laid the foundation, but you've got to build your own house. And I think too many parents today take the blame for their children's misguided decisions. And at the same time, I think there's too many parents that take the credit for their children's well-meaning spiritual success. I have a friend of mine who's a local pastor, not in this community, but a local church pastor, who was in a home of debauchery and drunkenness. And he became a believer in Jesus Christ, and he's a preacher of the gospel. And you would never say, oh, his parents get credit for that. At the same time, if you are raising your children in the fear and the admonition of the Lord, then you've laid the foundation. And if they make the decision to go contrary to, if they make the decision to rebel against God, I don't think as a parent that's on you if you laid the foundation. Now, what does this proverb say? When they are old. I cannot tell you how many times I've heard this testimony from people. I grew up in a Christian home. I got saved at age eight, young age went to college, strayed from the Lord for a while, and then returned to the vitality of my faith. Essentially what Proverbs 22, 6 is saying is, we as parents must lay a biblical gospel-centered foundation for our children. Ultimately, it is their faith, not ours, but generally held, they will at one point return. The problem is, as a parent, it's usually not on our timing. That being said, great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.